as she flies this extra 300 head. Absolutely tight hammerhead stall turn. Got it to zero airspeed, turned it on a dime, gave you nine tenths change. She accelerates through 175, 180. Roll gear, plane at maximum performance, failure on roll for the roll rate of over 360 degrees per second. Over the top now at only 700 feet above the ground. She continues to roll the airplane now, rolling to the inside, turning left, and now roll to the outside and turning left. An amazing performance where she divides her time inside and outside the cockpit without losing any altitude. This is the kind of hardcore bone crunching that will put most of us to sleep as she goes to the outside, rolling the aircraft one and one half times, pulls hard on the stick, is forced into her seat at nine times the pull of gravity, rolls the airplane one and a half, two and a half times, and pushes to the outside once again. All the forces, G-forces, trying to force her out of the aircraft. She runs out of airspeed now, with the airplane turning one direction, the motor turning the other. She backs it up. There's one length of the airplane, two lengths, three lengths, and four lengths of the airplane. Put your hands together for Patty Wagstaff, National Aerobatic Champion. She is also last year's International Council of Air Show Sword of Excellence Award. She has also won the Betty Skelton First Lady of Aerobatics Award. And in 2004, Patty was proud to be inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in Dayton, Ohio. Back in 2003, the readers of Air and, uh, excuse me, of Aviation Week and Space Technology Magazine voted on the 100 most influential people. And Patty Wagstaff came up on that list as number 66. Look at it as she climbs, snap over the airplane once and twice and three times, holding it inverted. Now watch her pull off the stick and come back through the, line, the back side of that loop, and that is called the Triple Avalanche. Now, she rolls one and a half times and she pushes to the outside once again, climbing through 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 feet above the ground. The nose falls through the horizon, watch her come down to 45, snap rolling the airplane once, twice, three times, stand upside, upside down, watch her now. She'll get down to show center and she'll push forward, going to the outside. As she goes up 45, changes 45 to straight up for side two of the octagon loop. Another 45 degree push. She comes across the top at a thousand feet above the ground. Another 45 degree push for side five. Straight down for side six. 45 degrees for side seven. Another 45 degree push. That is the outside octagon loop. Let's hear it for Patty Wagstaff. Oh boy, what a performer she is. Tumbles the airplane in the vertical. That MT propeller and that light coming into that AEIO. 540 engine pulling her through the skies with such power and such grace and the talent of one of the greatest aviators in the world today. Right down there at the back. And roll the airplane into the upright with a slow roll all the way across the line. A beautiful line demonstrating the kind of precision with which she won those three U.S. National Unlimited Aerobatic Championships. The first woman in the country to win that prestigious title. Now, she comes down to 45, accelerating now, diving toward the ground at about 60 degrees nose down attitude. She'll get down to 200 miles per hour. Put her right over the deck. And back up again. Does a knife edge tumble, throwing that right wing into the slipstream and doubles it up. How about that? Now watch her slip around to the right. All a rudder turn, flat, totally uncoordinated. This extra 300 is allowing Patty Wagstaff to do things that most airplanes just are unable to do. Rolling to the outside, going into knife edge flight. Dives now toward the ground once again, and she'll pull hard with her right bank as she gets lined up on the show line once again. Spirit from Duluth, Minnesota. That's her sponsor, the most popular selling airplane in the world today. The first aircraft with a built-in whole airframe parachute system, the ballistic recovery system, in case of a 
horrible emergency, it's possible to land that airplane underneath the helicopter. Now, look in front of you. At 140 miles an hour, we got pole holders 50 feet apart, 22 feet above the ground. She's going to try to cut that ribbon upside down at 140 miles an hour. See that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Patty White, Captain Inverted Ribbon Cut. Wow, is that awesome. She's excited. She is a happy performer. Not only does Patty love to fly airplanes, but she is also an excellent, excellent horseman. She rides and jumps show horses. She is an amazing, an amazing athlete. Once again, going into the tumble and sliding sideways. Now bringing her up right. That inverted ribbon cut done by very few other people in the whole world. Watch her as she now holds it up there and cools things down a little bit. <laughs> Patty's ride between air shows is the beautiful Cirrus SR-22. The Cirrus Lycoming engine, Champion Aerospace Park plugs, a German, the German MT Propeller Company, and also Sarasota Avionics and Oregon Aero. Right down across the center of the show, she's up to 45 with a half a roll. Do you see that? Watch another half a roll. She'll pull for 45. Watch this precision of the half a roll stops there pushes 45 she'll go across the top this is the inside outside octagon loop half a roll and a pull 45 half a roll and a push 45 half a roll and a pull 45 for side seven and half a roll and a push to the outside for side eight the inside outside octagon loop with point rolls to get her departed out to the right hand side pulls up over the top now tumbles the airplane nose for tail tail for nose once again caps it off and now recovers inverted lets the nose fall through the horizon she sometimes is working both hands on the stick to make this airplane do what she wants it to do and she does it like nobody else maximum performance look at the precision and the speed of those rolls more than one roll every second this airplane was designed in germany and built in germany by walter extra and with that German MT propeller and that Lycoming engine, we're seeing one of the most spectacular aerobatic aircraft and performers in the world today. to the left one and two and three rolls see if she can get there stops at the three watch her now power comes off let's listen this is called a tail slide she's backing it up no power no power no power and there you go 70 miles an hour backwards she flops it out let's put your hands together for p-wag cirrus her sponsor manufactures the composite sr-22 with over 2,700 Cirrus aircraft flying today, the name Cirrus has become synonymous with aviation safety. With that whole airframe parachute recovery system, yes, it's a parachute for the entire airplane. It's plain genius. When Patty won the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships for the first time, she was flying the BM Goodrich Extra 260. And that is on display at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum, where its closest neighbor is Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Vega. Rolling to the inside on that rolling 360. Nobody else in the industry is doing this maneuver. She'll stop as she generates uh, energy toward the crowd and then finish her up all the way around for that rolling. Inside rolling 360 degree turn. She knocks off the aerobatics when she's headed toward the crowd as a matter of safety. Rolls to the outside, pushes to the outside. The outside one half Cuban 8 down to 45. Makes her upright. A little bit of right bank down on the deck. Now watch as Patty comes across the show line. Up she goes down on one wing and says, I love you, Langley. And she does a little tail wag for you right here. Knife edge flight in the Cirrus Extra 300. Is that awesome or what? I said, is that awesome or what? Patty 
heads another one going the other direction. She'll be landing in just a second. Nice head flight. What a great new paint job she's got on her airplane. And what a great equestrian, a great pilot, and a great lady she is. We call her the Gypsy. And as Patsy, as Patty sets up to land, here come your guys from your United States Air Force. Baron, we got you in there. Come on across, you guys. From your United States Air Force, as Patty Wagstaff does a great slow roll. We're going to get a chance to see these guys. You want to do that? You want to come up here for just a quick second? Oh, bring the G-suit up here, Max. It's okay. All right. I want you to, as Patty Wagstaff sets up to land, I want you to meet these guys from your United States Air Force, representing the F-15, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, Baron, Max, and Stitch. Here are the guys who flew in the Heritage flight and did these great Air Force demonstrations for you. Let's give these guys a great round of applause. Max, how are the power loops today, buddy? A little soft space on the weather, Rob, but we got them in there. Go. Great, great demo. Stitch, you got to do the wall of fire today. Well, the wall of fire, everyone loves it. Tomorrow we'll get some straight batted to it. Should be fantastic. Let's give this lady a great round of applause. Miss Patty Wagstaff. <laughs> and reviews of this show on airshowbuzz.com, so make sure you check it out. It 